mega technical analysis with timestamps in the description. This is purely based on technicals, no emphasis on the company's fundamentals or catalysts or anything like that coming up. Just the technical standpoint, this is not financial advice. Starting off with ticker symbol SKLZ, we are in a bull flag. Here's the, here's the flag, Here, or here's the pull, excuse me, here's the flag pull. We are in this descending channel. Once we break this, and we will break this in the next trading day, which is Tuesday, look for a breakout, look for a confirmation, confirm confirming this is the new support, validating this level. If we see a pullback right after the breakout, look for this is going to be a potential entry point make sure you confirm it and see the bounce and the price target will be pretty massive how do you draw a price target i'm not going to do it here because i got a thousand to get over but you just basically just draw this out i would do at least for a bullpen i'd draw a trend line from here to here and then put it at the put the bottom right there and your price target's gonna be like way up there okay daily rsi let's take a look at the daily relative strength index really fast uh, we're looking at 6309 fairly overbought guys but this is going to be a potential trade this is not financial advice once we break out of this and this is a great company i happen to know a little bit about this company this is a fair the good trade in my opinion look for a breakout this could happen anytime guys get a couple shares in maybe average in a few times look for the breakout if we do break out if we do break down you know there could be catalyst or something coming up if we do break down you know be ready to sell right when you see this uh support level being broke being confirmed as the new resistance okay all right that's pretty much what we're looking at as that one let's look at a y r o next Okay, this is another great trade in my opinion. We are in an interesting situation. We are basically being rejected currently. Um, at the end of after hours, they decided to start pushing up. Buyers started to come in. Um, we did. We did. You know, we are currently trying to get rejected. If we see a bounce, if we see if we see a push, this is a potential trade. Make sure you confirm the breakout. Don't just head in. You know, watch it. If you do just head in, at least watch it to see if you are going to come back into this uh, pattern. Because if you do, you know, you got a lot of downside here. Okay, according to Fibonacci levels, you're looking at roughly like t near 20% loss if you buy on the breakout and then it just false breakouts goes all the way down to test support and then we trade. But guys, more but more likely and auspicious trade in my opinion is going to be waiting to this the end of day roughly on tuesday if we if we don't break out already if we don't break down already if we're still in this channel watch for this trade this has a higher chance of going to the upside than downside in my opinion plus this is you know a lot of people are super bullish on this company obviously i'm sure you guys are aware if you're watching this okay we'll take a little bit a little bit a little look at the daily or the relative strength index we are looking at 63 67 not terribly overbought you know you don't want to see overbought levels when you're about to use all your strength to break out of this we did fairly push up fairly well um so that's pretty much what we're looking at with this one taking a look at a look at ctrm Castor Maritime. Uh, let's look at the two hour. So this, this is similar chart to mi Microvision, actually. We do have a couple of touch points on this uh, on this ascending level of resistance, couple of touch points on this ascending level of support. This is a weird kind of chart. Look, first level of support, in my opinion, is going to be this 38.2% retracement level. Look for a bounce off of that. Confirm uh, if you do break down. The strongest level of support, in my opinion, and the strongest trade idea is if we pull back all the way to this ascending level support that I'm going over now. We do have a couple of validations going back as far as 27th of January. Look for an entry point there. If we pull up all the way back, um, that's pretty much what, we're, what I'm seeing there. Uh, relative strength index, if it loads. We are going to be looking at 76.49, fairly overbought right now. As I said, I would look for, I would wait for at least a dip to this 38.2% retracement level. Next up, we're going to be looking at workhorse. Let's take a look. This one is actually really interesting. I actually drew this one up macroscopically because this is so interesting. This is kind of like a Twitter or Facebook chart, just slow moving. I mean, it's not slow moving. It's, it's fairly volatile. Okay, look at this 23 to 42, close, you know, 90, 80% increase right there. We do have a couple touch points, though, on this uh, ascending level of resistance, ascending level of support as well. Guys, I would not be buying this case, daily RSI. You know, actually, we're not that overbought just because we did have a sharp sell off kind of all the way from 42 to uh 3619 currently but guys i would you know we can definitely come up here and test this or test this resistance again but you know typically in the past let's look in the past okay typically when we test this resistance line in this case we did consolidate for a while so if you want to buy in right now based on this you could be seeing consolidation no movement basically but based on the most recent one most recent run-up and the test of this resistance we consolidated and we basically went down to test this ascending level support you do not want to get caught holding the bag uh ever in my opinion so be very cautious with that. I would look for an entry point on the next time we test this ascending level of support. How do you know that? I'm not going to be updating on your workers. Get Weeble, get some sort of platform that you can draw up these charts. Make sure they match mine a little bit at least. You know, they can be different. Everyone does it differently, but no one's perfect. No one's perfect either. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. Yours can look different than mine and be better than mine. But, you know, something roughly like this is probably going to treat you well, in my opinion. 
Next up, we're looking at SOS Limited. Taking a look at the hourly, we do have a really interesting setup on this one. We have a couple touch points on this very steep ascending level of support. Guys, look for a break of this. Unless Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin can continue to rally. Uh, this one kind of more mirrors uh, Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin continues to rally, you know, <laughs> support and resistance, all-time highs or 52-week highs, I think that's what this is at least. Um, this is going to blow through it. But guys, based on this, if I wasn't factoring Bitcoin, I would basically be saying this is extremely bearish. We have a couple of touch points on this ascending level support. And currently we are basically right on it. So be very careful if you're in this or you're adding shares or thinking about buying now. I think you can get a better price than this, especially I haven't really checked what Bitcoin is doing, how Bitcoin is doing today. But especially if Bitcoin is doing bad, you can, if Bitcoin's going down, this is going down 100% breaking this support, probably even breaking this 23.6% retracement because we've gone up so high in the recent past. Let's take a look at the daily relative strength index. Looking at 85.10, guys, this is what I mean. I didn't even know that before I uh, looked at the chart. Well, you kind of can tell based on the run-up. But, um, yeah, this is extreme overbought right now. So that's pretty much what we're looking at with this one. Let's take a look at IDEX. Okay, let's look at the four hourly on this one. This is an interesting chart pattern. We have a couple touch points on this ascending level of support. We are recently, we basically are, t are on it right now. Okay, let's actually change this a little bit. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a little rough. Okay, technical analysis, this is how it is, right? It's not perfect. We have a couple of touch points, though. Look, if it looked, guys, short term. Okay, look at, wow, look at this freaking candle. Okay, that's, <laughs> look at, it tests this support and tests this support in the same, in the same four hour span. That's insane. It's like 25%. That's insane. But look for, in this one, if you're a shareholder or if you're looking to get in, look for recent. This is going to be very important in the very near term. If we break down, this is probably heading all the way down to test this support. If we, if we go up, you know, in the recent past, we haven't been able to get over this 23.6% retracement level sitting at roughly almost $5, 4.8 roughly. Look for a look for a break of that and then a test of this uh, ascending level if we break. But be very careful because if we break down in the near term, in the extremely near term, we are probably going down to test this, in my opinion. Taking a look at the relative strength index. If it loads, um, we are looking at 59.51. Okay, not, not too overbought on this one, but, you know, take it for what it is. Take it for what it is. We did, you know, we are heading down short term. That's pretty much what I'm seeing for IDEX, though. Taking a look at Curis, C-R-I-S. This one is really interesting on the four hourly on this one as well. This is an extremely huge bull pennant with a huge price target. How do you draw a price target? Well, just draw up these lines, roughly the same I have on Weeble. There's a link in the description. If you do not have Weeble already, it's extremely easy to use, in my opinion. Just draw a trend line on Weeble from the top of this to the bottom of this place the bottom in this uh in the end of this bull pennant and either either uh to the downside or upside we will probably be breaking to the upside i know a little bit about this company a lot of people are extremely bullish on it um so watch for the confirmation uh on the breakout or breakdown we can always break down of course take, let's take a look at the daily relative strength index 59k almost almost uh e almost neutral that's what you want to see you don't want to see an overbought level you are on the stock the stock is about to use all of its strength to tr attempt to break out so if you are in this stock, look for an entry on this, or if you're thinking about establishing a position, think, look for an entry on this ascending level. Uh, if we break out, you can play the breakout. That's a, that's a good option too. That's pretty much what I'm seeing with this one. Taking a look at INKW. Um, take a look at the hourly. Okay, this one is actually bearish for me short term. We have a couple ascending touch points right here on this ascending level of support. We did validate this. Okay, why do I say it's bearish? Okay, a couple reasons. Most, mo the most important reason is that we barely are bouncing off of this support. This basically indicates to me that buyers are attempting to push the price up when it touches this level, but they're kind of failing other than this one wide range candle bar. And we did get rejected at this level, this 23.6% retracement level, which will act as a resistance in the near term because it was support. We do have a couple validations right off here. Um, so that, so bearish, you know, look at least, I would say at least wait for an entry point in this 38.2% retracement. Take a look at the daily relative strength index. Okay. It's not loading again. Uh, we're looking at 74.73. Okay. It's fairly overbought. Again, guys, this is why I th I'm thinking it has a high chance of going to the downside. Next up, we're looking at LOTZ. <clears throat> Take a look at the four hourly. Okay, this is the most bearish chart I've ever seen. I don't really, I don't really take bearish trades, so this is new to me. But we do have these descending levels of res resistance and support. Two support levels. Okay, we are fairly. Let's take a look at daily RSI really fast. Okay, again, not loading. Wow. Uh, we are looking at 32, 32.40. Okay, we are oversold currently. 
So this may be an entry point, but again, guys, keep in mind, we are in a bear trend. So pretty much you're going to be closer to oversold all the time when you're in a downtrend like this. This is a bearish pattern, in my opinion. If you are looking to establish a position, look for a breakout, you turn reversal. That's going to be a lot more auspicious than playing in a downtrend, a downtrend if you're a bull. Uh, much easier to short stocks when it's a bear market or a bear stock um, and much easier to um, go with long positions in a bullish stock okay if you're new okay. i see naf is going to be our next one taking a look at the hourly chart we are going to see a bull penna here this is kind of a weird uh, chart pattern if you if you don't can't already tell that um but we did we are validating the 61.8 percent retracement level fairly perfectly do have one perfect touch point, almost another one right there. Um, this the price target will be enormous for this stock. We recently did see a 100% run up from roughly 30 cents a share to 60 cents a share, roughly. Watch this is going to be all the way on the roughly according to technical analysis. The breakout will should come. You know, most likely outcome is it should come on the 27th of this month, February. Um, so look for entry point there. Look to play the breakout. And of course, I don't know anything about these companies. This can go either way according to uh, if their news catalyst is here. Take a look at the the RSI, we are looking at six, we are looking at 5786. Okay, so almost neutral. Okay, if you are looking to get an, uh, an entry point, I would wait for a validation of this. Typically, in the past, we do bounce up at least 10% based on the Fibonacci levels when we touch that. Okay, that's what I'm seeing for this one. Take a look at ICIC or ACIC, excuse me. Uh, this is a little bit of a uh, take your pick on which trend line it is okay i would say it's this but but you know we when we broke it we should be seeing a you know a a push higher but we didn't really break it so another but but again this one that that one's not perfect because of that right but this one is not perfect because you know look we basically uh, came all the way up here you know that's a that's an iffy false false breakout right uh 23 that usually doesn't happen on a false breakout right it's only usually it's only like one to five to ten percent right if that so but this is potential you know this could be a bull pennant this could be the true pattern this uh let me let me show you exactly what I mean. We could be looking at this bull pennant basically. This is the most bullish scenario if you're an optimist. This is what you want to be seeing on the charts. Look for an entry point right around here on this ascending level. Watch for the confirmation of the breakout and then play this ascending level. And then watch for a resistance line around this area right here. And all time highs, of course, or 52 week highs at least. I don't I'm not familiar with the stock's history. Let's take a look at the daily RSI relative strength index. Looking at 81. Or is that even real? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 90 on 9 almost 100 almost maxed out rsi on this one but currently we're trading at 81 61 so you know fairly overbought so be careful be very careful with this one now financial advice remember that next off we're going to be looking at zsan Okay, this one, this is bearish. No, okay, this isn't bearish, but it's more bearish when you when you touch the 78.6% retracement level, and we actually dip below that and confirming, validating this ascending level. That's extremely bearish, in my opinion. When you hold any level above the 78, 78.6% retracement level, excuse me, this is going to indicate a much higher move in the future than if you were to, in this case, come all the way down here. This is uh, potentially bearish, you know, but once we touch this ascending level, that is a that is a potential entry point. Taking a look at the daily relative strength index, we are looking at 66.11. That's what we're looking at as far as the RSI goes. Um, not much else to talk about this. There's not much price action, really. Um, look for resistance. If we do push higher, look for resistance on every single one of these Fibonacci levels as they did act uh, as support. They will act as resistance now because we are we have confirmed the breakout with several hourly and daily candle closes below those previous supports. Next up, taking a look at AHLLPF. Um, okay, let's look at the, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the daily. Try four hourly. Okay, this is a really interesting level. Let's get rid of this Fibonacci really quickly, actually. Um, macroscopically, we did just break out of a long time trend going back as far as the as far as last year. Um, so this is we did just break out of this ascending level of resistance with uh, three touch points, almost four, almost five. Um, this ascending level. Okay, this is extremely overbought territory. So let's take a look at the daily relative strength index. 
we are actually that's not even as over i thought we'd be more overbought than that well this is only a 100 percent increase i guess which is a ton but you know not for the stocks that we typically cover right so 74 you know we are overbought so be extremely careful if you are looking to establish a position look for a bounce off of this previous level of resistance this will be an extremely strong level to watch uh watch for the bounce don't just blindly set a limit order at around this area watch for the bounce watch for the confirmation of a, of a breakout and then ride the wave higher that's what we're looking at for this one taking a look lastly at l uh at lemonade incorporated taking a little look at the daily rsi let's try four hourly actually okay this is a <laughs> actually you know what let's do two hour yeah here we go two hour okay this is a really interesting chart pattern actually okay we did this <laughs> i know this is a lot to digest but this is essentially what we're looking at we do have a starting off with this very uh broad uh level of ascending support we have a three touch points so if we do end up breaking this is going to be an extremely important and uh strong trade entry in my opinion that would be a very significant pullback of like at least 20 percent, probably more like 30 40 percent but first firstly uh more more short term we were in a bull pennant. Unfortunately, we did break down. Let me show you some validations off this level. We do have this touch point right here, a couple almost in there. And we do have some perfect validations right here after we actually broke down, confirming it. It was actually the pattern. And you guys know, okay, I know you. some of you may be thinking, why don't you put these up a little bit? Well, it's because most recent uh, candle touches are, is what you want to go with. The most recent are the more accurate. And look at the validations. We have a couple validations right here. We have a perfect validation there, perfect validation there. So that is why it is where it is, okay? Uh, descending resistance level, this is going to be the most short-term resistance. Actually, this one, but once uh, in a couple of days, this will be the one to watch. Uh, first level support to watch if you're looking to get in the stock, 23.6% retracement, sitting at roughly $53.50, $59.31, roughly, you know, that range. That's going to be your first entry point. If that breaks, look for the 200-day exponential moving average on the two-hourly. This will be different for every every chart, but this is you know, going to be your first level, and then obviously every Fibonacci level after that. Let's take a look at the daily RSI to get a sense of how overbought we are. Six to one ninety, you know, with not extremely overbought. So, you know, uh, first level, you know, this this level is going to be uh, this third twenty three point six percent retracement, a potential potentially a strong entry point. Okay, those are the technical analysis guys, price targets. Um, there's nothing new here guys okay guys i just want to show you this every time feel free to screenshot this if you just want to copy my stocks if you know my track record from the other videos these are this is what i'm looking at also these guys i want to be clear i'm not in these there guys you can see there's no there's no information here really for them i just have a question mark because these are positions i was thinking about getting in last week i still have them there i am still thinking about this i, I have a ton that i'm thinking about if i listed all of them here it would be it would be a huge spreadsheet but that's what we're looking at Relative information in regards to the title has finished now. Feel free to click off. My friends, if you have more important things to do, extra useful information, be careful in the comments, guys. There will be scammers. There will be Bitcoin bots in the near future, especially as we gain steam. We've been gaining a lot of steam this last week. Well, we've only had the channel around for almost a week now, uh, maybe exactly a week, but there will be fake auspicious dissents. When I comment, you, when I comment, you guys know this. I will never ask for your email, for your WhatsApp, for money. I will never ask you for money. So, so do not... Do not believe if there's a fake auspicious dissent, I will work my hardest to check the comments and, and remove their posts and mute them. Make sure you guys mute them as well. Okay. You do not want to be getting scammed. I, I would hate to see that. Okay. If you do get scammed, obviously I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be taking responsibility for your actions, but you know, please do not get scammed guys. This is not financial advice, by the way. Okay. One to two videos per week on the weekend, maybe covering the most requested stock. Following in the poll, still working on the poll, <laughs> still working on the poll. Okay. I'll get this eventually done. Okay. I promise. Why should I be trusted? You should not trust me blindly. Don't trust anyone blindly on YouTube. This is the internet. Uh, there's a ton of shady people here. You should trust me because I, I'm completely transparent. I show you guys my positions. Here's my positions. I'll show you them again. Here's all my positions. Here's my account. Okay, I'm not even loaded in. Okay, let's log in real quick. Okay, that's what we're looking at. Um... That's why I'm the most transparent person on YouTube, by the way. Also, no one does this. Okay. That's another reason why you should trust me. Okay. But don't, but don't, but still, at the end of the day, be objective. Okay. That's the most important thing. Instant price target price is being hit. Do not expect instant, grat instant, instant target price, uh, hit, hits. Don't expect that, please. You're going to, you're going to be crying. Your heart will be broken if that's what you expect. Weeble comments, breaking rules. You have to break some rules to make money, make sweet gains like I have. In the last month, I'm up 80, 90, 80 to 90% alone. Um, much more than that all time. Okay. Stop master on iPhone. 
good app if you have an iphone download it it's it's good for tracking futures hedging and reducing risk in the market one way to do that is this stock right here i recommend this to everyone if you want to reduce your risk tolerance but you still like speculative play i mean they're speculative you know i don't think they're very speculative i've done my due diligence i'm extremely confident that's why i've given my bull case and end of year safe price targets a lot of people will consider these bull case their bull case not even this sometimes but that's essentially what we're looking at um, YouTube scams, fake stock, YouTube gurus. Guys, just be careful. That's pretty much what I'm just trying to get to you. Okay, guys, be careful in the comments. Don't send anyone your information. Don't send me your information. Don't send fake me's, especially don't send fake me's, <laughs> fake auspicious to send your information. Um, so just be careful, guys. Buying power, flash crash, keep buying power around or just invest in this. That's a fine option if you ask me. Okay, you need buying power for a flash crash. So you can take, take advantage of that. What is the stock you own that you are most bullish on? Comment below, please. If you want to, I truly appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Thank you all so much for these. I, I love these comments. I, I really, I get a lot, a lot of you guys are comedians down there as well. I appreciate the funny ones and the positive ones, especially. Okay. Please not hesitate to call me out on anything I'm missing in the charts, fundamentals or elsewhere. Okay. Always call me out if I miss, if I read the chart wrong, if I am looking at the wrong, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to make mistakes. Okay, follow stocks you on Reddit and Twitter. Free, st free stocks as well. We've in the description. By the way, with the free stock link, <clears throat> it says it in there. It's pretty clear, but your first deposit into Weeble needs to be $100 USD or more to get the free stocks. And also, when you do use my link, I do get like some, I do get free stocks if you do. Okay, I'm completely transparent. You guys should know that. Okay, but I truly do think it is the best broker. Okay, I'm not just doing it for the free stocks. Y'all have seen my account. Y'all, y'all see how much money I have in this account, right? <laughs> so, you know. That is what we're looking at. Uh, Pre-market after hours trading. No one else offer this, offers this really. So it's one reason why it's the best broker, in my opinion. Also, the charts are extremely easy to read. The charts, technical analysis, you guys know all that. I mean, there's a thousand indicators that you can dive into and know more than me about technical analysis. There's a thousand indicators, literally. And Weeble has all of them to offer. Combo stocks I need to cover next. Feel free to offer three. Don't, okay, be, be careful though. If everyone offers three, I'll be doing like thousands of these videos. And these take a ton of time. As you can see, my voice is a little hoarse. This is like a third to fourth time I've run, redone this because <laughs> I keep messing up because it's so long. But open a Roth IRA. Weeble does offer this. <laughs> We will propaganda anyone, am I right? <laughs> okay, no, but seriously, it does offer this. It is an extremely good broker. Okay, I'm serious. Comment any questions, I will answer them. Robert Hood, last buy in a video if you want to, but that's about the future. What does this channel hold? Are we going to become like, uh, I'm not going to name names. I wanted to. I almost named someone right there, but we're not going to put any ads. We're not going to ask for likes. We're not going to add for, ask for subs. I hate when people do that to me, so I'm not going to do it to you. I feel like you guys deserve high-quality information with transparency like this if you appreciate that please let me know in the comments or not like the video if you want to sub if you want whatever i'm going to do my high quality work just the same you basically by doing this stuff you know liking subbing to all that stuff you can basically make no ads no like subs asking during the video i consider this part after the video you can make this type of video the new youtube standard because once i start blowing up once our channel starts gaining more steam we are already we're already gaining a ton of steam guys you know this you if you guys have been tracking the channel we started out with zero subscribers obviously this week little well not this week but last week on the weekends i had zero now we're at like, I don't know, like 500, half of halfway to a thousand, right? Something like that. So basically supporting the channel, you will indirectly affect uh, making no ads, the YouTube standard uh, all across YouTube, but especially in the stock world and the finance YouTubers. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye on Nano to the moon.